Hey, what's up, YouTube list? EXO coming at you here, bright and early with another project video. Just something quick to help with something with Frankenstein. As you guys know, we're adding more weight. We got copper right there. We got more batteries, more copper bus bars, more headache. So the suspension, it's gonna be swearing at us, cussing up a storm. So we're gonna make it a little bit less detrimental on everything. We're gonna remove the tow package. If anything, Frankenstein is gonna be the one being towed. He's never gonna be towing anything because of how much weight we've already jammed into him. So let's walk over here real quick and see what we're working with. When we got this truck from good old Richard, it came with this tow package. As you can see, it is hefty. Look at that steel adding a lot of weight to this rear end. So with those batteries and all that extra copper back here, it's just sagging. So even though we have the airbags installed from, I don't know, what was that, like five years ago? They're a great little supplement to help out with the weight, but we should really consider removing this whole thing to make it a little bit less worrisome. Now hopefully it won't be too bad to remove these bolts. They haven't been touched in quite some time. So I just went ahead and stuck some WD-40 on there, a little bit of liquid wrench to see if that'll help. So I'll let that sit for a little bit. She's splooging out there. Hopefully that'll help remove some of that hunky dunky shit. And oh crap, there's two more right there. Let's get those taken care of. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, you can see our grounds right there. We'll be going back around and cleaning those this year. Even though they look pretty damn decent, I'm just gonna probably cover them with some sort of, uh, I don't know yet what I'm gonna cover them with, but we'll figure that out. Maybe even plastic dip. Something crazy? I don't know. Now that I'm paying attention under here, it looks pretty decent, but there are some spots that could use a little bit of attention. So let me know what you would do to address that problem if you would, you know, sand it down and then cover it with something. If there's, you know, I would probably do, I don't know, undercoating. I have a couple of those left, but let me know what you do if you have a better suggestion. <laughs> Joke it. <laughs> All right, we found the right size. Looks like 18 millimeter is doing the trick. So hopefully we'll be able to remove it with this tiny little leverage of a piece of shit. God damn, yeah, see, I don't know. This thing is pretty stubborn. Oh my God. Ugh. I may have to go into my half inch drive. Let's bring out our bad boy. This thing actually extends out to 18 inches. This was a great find. I got it for like, I don't know, a couple bucks at a yard sale. Hopefully 11 sixteenths will equal something close to 18 millimeter or about the same. Come on, you little bastard. Get in there. There we go, yeah. That should work just fine. Get that little extendo, bring her out to a freaking club of death. <laughs> Whoops, I just freaking nailed that. There we go, look at that, one-handed. No problem. What a night and day difference leverage makes, huh? Imagine how the Egyptians felt. Come on, baby, let's fast forward this shit. Ow, oh, my nuts! You know what, I'd just like to take this moment and appreciate 1997 construction. That's like three quarters inch worth of steel right there, all layered up. Gotta love that liquid wrench, holy shit, I swear by that stuff. I also applied a lot of the uh, liquid wrench to my tools. I went around with WD-40, but when that ran out, I used the liquid wrench. This wouldn't be a half bad spot to do some grounding if you cleaned it all this up right here. This is some really substantial shit. she comes oh, okay so that's a separate little piece that metal uh, bracket right there it comes off on its own and there she is ladies and gentlemen first part of the tow package bracket off it's gonna be I'm gonna weigh every single list but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little prediction right now so let me feel how this feels I'd say that's like I don't know close to a pound holy fuck I'm gonna guess this tow package weighs 45 pounds, including these and these. Just these last two for this side. I just had a pretty important thought. I'm only gonna remove uh, every single one except for uh, one on both sides. So that way I can have my little bottle jack come in and hold one side up while I remove the other. That way I don't have anything clunking down on the ground and uh, possibly landed on me. Now I'm gonna probably have to do what we did in my car when we installed our subwoofers, which is use a little bit of MDF to stand it off because she doesn't go up too, too high. Actually, you know what guys, check this out. It's almost right up to the top. Look at that, you can't, I mean, I could probably even squeeze it up a tiny bit more, just enough so when I undo the other side, it will prop it up. You know what I mean? Hold on, let's see if it'll go up a tiny bit further. Perfect. 
I don't even need any wood. And I can't wait to see how much this thing weighed. I'm, you know, I'm guessing 45 pounds, but who knows. Just slap a comment below. Let me know what you think it is. All right, she's removed. So, damn it. I didn't uh, disconnect my airlines from my airbags. Shit. All right, hold on. Let me let this dangle, because it's kind of heavy. See if we can do this. See if we can do this. Oh boy. There we go, I got her off. But as you can see, I have my, my, my lines are still connected here, so I can't stretch them too far. This is kind of weird. This is really weird. Ah, oh yeah. What an angle for you, huh? So, we got her undone, but as usual, in the heat of the moment, I forgot to uh, do something critical. We have these little airbags under here, which we mentioned in the beginning of the video. They're inflated with just air, and the airlines are attached right to the tote package. So that was kind of a pain, but that's okay. We'll disconnect those right now. And there she is. She is off. That's a big chunk of steel. Look at that. Big chunk of manka. So I'm glad to have gotten rid of it. We're not going to get rid of it though. We're going to hold on to her. And there we go. Everything is pretty much all disconnected here. Our harnesses just sitting in here. There was some pretty big debris in there, but I cleaned her out and we'll have to clean this off with a little bit of uh I don't know, compound, get that gunk off there. But she's pretty much loose, done it up. Let's get her all taken out of here and uh, see how much it weighs. We're gonna have to go down to Walmart, obviously, because we don't have a scale. We don't own a scale yet. Oh, I forgot, damn it. We still have one line going in here, screwed in with a, uh, a little uh, nut and bolt. Well, shit, guys, I have tried everything to remove this. I cannot get this off. It is frozen on there. In fact, it when it did start spinning, just the whole assembly started turning uh, inside there. So I'm not able to remove it. So I figured I'd turn the camera on as we take these needle nose pliers and disconnect our airlines. I'm not sure how much our truck is gonna like dip down after this. Oh, awesome guys. Nothing even happened. There must be like a little uh, extra valve in the bags themselves to only let air in and not out so I can have this successfully just trimmed off and I can relocate it somewhere around here. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter, relocate this, zip tie it somewhere. But now we have officially got the bad boy off, guys. Check it out. And without a hitch, ha, <laughs> no pun intended. Oh my God, oh yeah, that's every bit of 45 pounds. I guarantee it. I mean, I don't wanna have any guarantees. I probably shouldn't say that because I'll probably eat my words at the end of this. Just started organizing things a little bit more here with our uh, airlines and all that. And uh, I just realized that we haven't had a spare tire in here since we began this whole project. You know, I got AAA for towing, so this thing has been serving no purpose for quite some time. Except for adding a little bit of weight. So we're going to remove this thing along with the other shit and see how much we can really get uh, removed out of this damn thing. successfully out. That thing weighs a good chunk of weight too. I'm gonna add that to the pile of things to figure out how much it weighs. And there she is guys, looking a heck of a lot lighter under here. Holy crap, what a before and after. I can't wait to see how much this shit weighs. All right, we are back from outer space. It is time to see how much weight we officially took from Frankenstein. You know, my, my original guess was what, 45 pounds? But after we added that, I don't know if I should stick with it or add a little bit, but I'm not sure. Because of how awkwardly shaped this is, we're just gonna have to hold it up, not hold it up, but like prop it up so you can see how much it weighs because it won't balance by itself. And as you can see, I am almost pretty, let me get most, I'm holding it up a little bit here. Check that out. <laughs> 45 pounds, swear to God this wasn't planned. I, I was just taking a wild guess and it was almost right on the money. Now let's take that other part here and see how much that weighs. 
here, put that, put that on top of it. And now let's see how much this weighs. There we go. Look at that. That one part almost weighs friggin' look at that. 60 pounds. Whew! A lot of extra weight that we just removed. Gotta love it. Well, that should just about do it, guys. Frankenstein was feeling fat, so we had to trim him down so we could get some more exercise with our lithium, copper, all kinds more upgrades coming for this season. So I can't wait to get started. Lots more projects coming, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for checking out our featured web store, Dropping Hertz Car Audio. Clicking the good old thumbs up really makes a you know a huge difference and means a lot to me that you guys are still watching the good old EXO videos. So until the next time, I'm just gonna be hanging out here in the Rays, waiting for Elise to get back. We're visiting with her friend this weekend, having some good times, may go out to dinner. So wish us luck, and I'll win until the next time. EXO signing out. Bye.